Ah, the trip to Turkey. It was fabulous. We arrived there and the first thing we saw were these old buildings and narrow streets and we ate in this beautiful restaurant looking out across the Bosphorus and I think we could see eight lit up mosques across the way. The next day we got to visit two schools. One was an old school that was especially designed for orphans. The other was a high school that was for the elite students that were doing wonderful. And despite it being elite, there were parts of it that looked really old. It had been a palace at one time. And of course, all of the schools had pictures of Ataturk on the walls. It was quite a bit later on the trip that we got to visit a village school where a group of students were there to meet us, eagerly waiting to see what we had brought and what we looked like, just like we were curious to see them. It was so fun to meet them and to see their building and to hear them sing the national anthem. And once again, there was the Turkish flag and pictures of Ataturk on the walls in the rural school as well. And on our trip, we saw things that were so old and we saw things that were very new. And we were able to go underground into the cisterns and into some caves. And we were at sea level where we enjoyed the beautiful Bosphorus and the Aegean Sea. And then our bus would take us high up into the mountains or drop us off where we had a long, long hike that seemed to go up, up, up. And when we got to top, the top, we'd have a beautiful view. I absolutely have to mention the food because it was fabulous. There was more than enough at every meal and it was always healthy and delicious. And There were street vendors and there were wonderful meals in the hotels and the restaurants that we stopped at. Everything was served to us beautifully and it was fun, delicious, one of the highlights of the trip. In true cultural form, it seemed like we were always being entertained. Not only did we hear musicians, but we got to watch the whirling dervishes dance and we got to go to a puppet theater and we met artists and spent a morning in a studio with a wonderful painter and he let us all make our own Hebrew paintings. But I think my very favorite thing was watching the people, watching the people in the city and in the small towns, watching them in their regular daily life, curious about what they were talking about, what was on their mind, just enjoying seeing human beings living in a whole entire different part of the world. It was so fun to just observe them and I was so curious about all of their lives and wished that I could have spoken the language. I think we put about 1,800 miles on the bus and we did see major cities, we saw little villages, we saw beautiful, beautiful mosques and historical things that I never thought I would be able to see. We had a visit to the hammam. We saw fields of sunflowers and we also saw barren fields because we covered so much countryside. All different sorts of housing, old and new. And through it all, I just kept thinking about everything that I wasn't seeing, all the doors that I couldn't open and it just made me so curious. I would love to go back to Turkey. It was a wonderful, hospitable country to visit. And the people were warm and friendly. And it was an absolutely wonderful opportunity. And as I came back and put together my scrapbook and did my article for the paper, I just thought, there's no way that this can all be shared with anyone, and I'm just so thankful that I got to experience it myself.